When we are talking about what is the best computer monitors to use for music production file, it's important to know that it doesn't have to be expensive just to get you going, but rather how you, your eyes are comfortable when staring at a screen for several hours while working. And I'm going to tell you how you can save much money by watching this video. When we are talking about computer monitors, not everyone is the same. So if you are one, um, asking a, a person, they would might uh, give you a, another option or a preference. For me, I found it personally that there are three main things that you can find. When we are talking about the distance on the computer monitors, it's important to have it not too close or not too far away, so it makes uh, your eyes even more tired. A common thing I use to do is the measurement is to have an arm length. This is uh, actually the length that which is ideal for you to staring on your computer, which is not too far or not too close. Um, the way you can do uh, or measure it is by stretching your arm and let the fingertip touch. When you're stretching and the, the computer, monitors, uh, computer monitors hit this, this means actually this is the ideal distance. When you're working with a computer monitor, you should know that um, in order to reduce the eye strain, your screen shouldn't be too bright or too dark. If it's too bright, your eyes can get dry very easily. And if you're working with a uh, screen that uh, doesn't have any brightness on it, it will easily make your eyes even more tired. And this could be lead uh, to an inefficient workflow, which is not good for you. A test you can do uh, if you're unsure how bright it should be is take a look at the background of a website page. And if it um, the light source and it uh, are the same, then that means it's too bright for your eyes to work with. If it's too dull or grey, then it might be too dark. Another thing you can do if you're working and get um, your eyes are getting dried or tired is to take a break more often because our eyes is not ideal to uh, staring for a screen for many of hours straight. So taking a break is uh, not um, a bad idea. Brightness is not the only thing that affects your eye, but the color temperature as well. This is uh, another way to reduce the eye strain. When you're working at night or in a dark room, this is uh, the best solution to have when you're working because this reduces the color. It might sound uh, weird or confusing, but what you actually need to know about the color temperature is how it can affect your eyes. Blue light is often the shorter wavelength in the light, which means it's giving you more eye strain compared to colors such as orange and red because it has a longer wavelength. Using the color temperature also reduce or giving you a better and uh, longer uh, view comfort which is good for you if you are working in a dark room. If you are a Windows user or have a Windows operating system you can change in the display settings in the control panel and turn on the night light. This will automatically turn on or off the color temperature just to make it more comfortable for your eyes. If you are an Apple user, you can change in the display settings in the system preference. If your computer or your laptop doesn't have these features, you can download it on the website called FLUX. And here you have a free software which can turn on or off automatically whenever it's day or night time. There are a community that has talked about um, the ultra wide monitors, which is a monitor that is more wider compared to a standard one. Most of them are actually uh, have a curved screen which gives you a better vision view. It um, gives you a more workspace which makes, uh, makes it look more even cleaner. But the one thing you have to no notice that um, they are much wider which means you have to be more um, aware where you're placing your computer monitors on the desk because it usually take more space if you don't know how those works or haven't seen it before, I recommend you go to an electronic store to see how they are in phys physical form. You can say that um, it's actually a more expensive, so I would recommend you to pick this as your first music production file computer monitors. But if you are comfortable with your budget or like the way, it's, um, the way it works, then you can choose it. If you don't want to work with one computer monitors or don't have the budget to buy a ultra wide monitors, you can actually have two monitors instead of one. This is actually good for many reasons, which is usually good for um, multitask or keep on tracking, which give you a better view without having closing the other windows or the screen when you're working. 
you can all um, have like a one side that is for DAW and the other one is for us synced on. The difference between the ultra wide monitors and the two monitors is that you have the flexibility to move them closer or further apart from them so you can give more space whenever you need but they actually take even more space than uh, ultra wide monitors so you have to take a measurement or be aware how much it's going to be. Um, if you are going to take this route I recommend you pick two identical computer monitors because this gives you um, the same brightness, the same color and the same size so you have working with the same um, color the brightness without in your eyes getting tired. As a laptop user I would recommend you to invest uh, computer monitors. This is because they usually have a better resolution compared to a laptop ones. And the most common problem with the laptop screen is that it doesn't give you the flexibility to move it. So you can say that um, it can lead you to a bad posture which means that you lean more forward so it gives you a sloppy position which, which is not good for your back. The thing with the monitors is that you have the option to change the brightness, color and the height of it. So it can give you the most comfortable setting you need to have when you're working. When we are talking about the computer specs, and you might see or notice that uh, when you're looking at the electronic store, there are computer monitors that have 2 milliseconds, 5 milliseconds or even 1 milliseconds. This tells you actually how fast it responds time and it refresh each image. And no, this doesn't improve the audio quality, only the image. If you like to play video games, this is ideally because this um, reduce the blurriness of the image and it improve so you can have a fast response with games like racing or shooting games because there you need to be accurate. Before you are able to get any image from your computer monitors, they need to be connected to your computer or your laptop with cables. There are four types of cables which is HDMI, VGA, DVI or DisplayPort. If you are using the computer or your laptop only for music production then the cable doesn't matter at all. But I still wouldn't recommend using the VGA because nowadays most graphic cards doesn't offer this type of port because they are very old and they are fading away. If you have a computer monitors that use this type of cable you can connect it with a converter making it possible to or accessible to connect to your computer or your graphic cards so you can uh, get any image if this is the only option. If you are using this both as gaming and music production file, I would recommend to pick either DisplayPort or DVI. If you are working in a room that have many windows that um, have lights get to your computer screen and reflects it, you can uh, either have a anti-glare screen, which is actually gives you the privacy so people that on side by you doesn't see it, and also it stops the reflection of the sun. The other thing is to adjust the bright angle and the sitting position just to make sure that the, the light doesn't hit the screen and into your eyes. After picking your computer monitors to work with, the next thing you should have is the DAW or Digital Audio Workstation. If you don't know what a DAW is, I have wrote an article about it linked in the description below. So if you want to learn more, you can go and check out the website.